All right. The Art of the Deal by Donald Trump. All right, this book is a very well-written book. Um, I think most people um, most people know that. Of course, the book was uh, written in 88. This is before, you know, Trump did everything, all the apprentice stuff, all of the stuff that came later. This is when he was just kind of getting started. Well, yeah, in 88, yeah, pretty much just getting started. He started like in the 70s, but this one he was really was going after all the casino stuff. But he, I know there's a lot of stuff with him now, but The Art of the Deal, you know, by Donald Trump. Um, Well-written book. Um, some of the stuff that he went over in the book, of course, he went over the early days, the lessons he learned with his father, Fred. Um, he went over, a good thing he did, he went over his day-to-day uh, operation like what he do day to day um hour by hour week by week he went over that um in the book which was good um you know give anybody that's like looking to go into business a breakdown but it was like real clear um it wasn't a whole lot of uh extra with it he just went right into it and uh as, as everybody know now but he has a really good understanding of the media he understands the media very well um, he breaks that down as far as like getting good press, being able to work the media, politicians, being able to work them, saying with politicians, if if you don't threaten them with with a bad publicity, you won't get anywhere with them. You got to, that's that, that was his way of saying it. Um, different strategies in business. Um, what else, what else? You know, a lot of different stories that he went over with it. Uh, but anyway, he went over a lot of the, the different deals in Atlantic City with those casinos, that ice skating ring that he had, and a few other things. He went over with Jimmy Carter. He said he never understood how Jimmy Carter could uh, become president until he uh, met with Jimmy Carter after that. And Jimmy Carter just sat down and asked Trump for $5 million to to donate. And he was just shocked that this guy could just ask for stuff like that. But he knew then that um, that's how Jimmy Carter, one of the reasons why Jimmy Carter got elected, because he just wasn't scared to just ask for extraordinary things. Um, a lot of the deals, a lot of stuff he went over with the contractors, stuff like that, the golf. Um, a, a lot of the, uh, a lot of stuff he went over, going over with the golfing uh, friends, buddies. That sort of thing. He had a lot of talks with them on the golf course, is what I'm trying to say. Um, as far as um, it's a part of a person's instincts is how he said, well, the, the quote, he said, it's a part of a person's instincts if they have it in them or not. Trump believes it's a birthright. If you're a good deal maker or not, that, it, that you're born with it. Some people feel like you earn it. Some people feel like you're born with it. Some people feel like it's a little both, you know. Um... What else we go over with it? Um, anyway, but I can't underestimate that it was a, a really well a well written book, really well. Um, again, he went over the lessons he learned early on with dealing with the uh, with the apartments, the buildings, and stuff with his dad. He felt like his dad kind of dealt with the lower end buildings, which he did, and Trump wanted to do a lot more. I think uh, this is a book that I had read years ago, but I read it again you know, just for the book review we requested. So one of the books I'm gonna do. Um over the course when he was buying airspace in New York to tr end up buying that to end up getting the buildings and it was he got into that uh, uh, some of those tricky deals and then the value engineering as far as um you know being able to break down like how you can save money on different deals like instead of like if you got a door with four hinges you could just uh instead of when you replace it, you just do two instead of three and stuff like that you know just to be able to say like it was a, a door that got four hinges if it only requires two then just take off the you know, you only you only use two you know something simple like that but anyway but on a big scale of things but if a door hinge costs ten dollars each but if you're doing it on two thousand doors then the saving is 20 grand so just little different things like that. That sounds simple, but he the way he breaks it down it was real simple, actually. Um, he didn't drink or do drugs, which is good. He felt like that was part of his advantage in New York. According to him, everybody drinks to do drugs in New York. So, um, um, oh yeah. Then he went into he said um one of the best. He said the best way 
what he, what was the quote here? I got it written. He said, uh, the best way to start business is to hire your competitors, best people, and offer them more money and bonuses and stuff like that um, to get them to work for you. Just take them and go from there. Uh, like I said, this the person who wrote this book, I don't know, you know, uh, I don't know who, it's, it seems totally different from the person who is obviously the president now, but uh, but just talking about the book itself and leaving politics off, is that this book is a well written book? Because I think it'd be good for anybody looking to start business, uh, real estate, and otherwise. But uh, real estate, especially New York real estate, knowing the terms, knowing how to. Um, he talked about all of that: working the politicians, working the media, working the banks. You know, working at all, which uh, you know he may have done too much, or you know it's arguable if he did it too much or too less or whatever. But um, a lot of people um, like what he did, obviously. You know, half the country voted for him. A lot of people like it. The, um, a lot of people don't. So, uh, like I said, you know, up until um, now, this book is still one of... It's actually, up until now, it's still one of the best sellers uh, of all time on, on, on most lists. So, uh, I recommend this book. Um, it's, and it's also a book that, when it ends... You almost like dang it in, you know. I don't. I wanted to, you wanted to keep going, like you know. But again, it was written in eighty eight, so that's all that uh, he accomplished up until that time. I think it was. I think he, everything was written uh, in eighty seven, I believe. So something like that. And but it, but it came out in eighty eight is what I want to say. So, uh, but of course he did a whole lot more after that. But again, definitely anybody picks this up. It's a classic. Of course, uh, Donald Trump. You know, no introduction needed. But yeah, definitely pick it up, take it out. Good pointers if you can separate, you know, the two from the lessons that you can learn from it. If you can be able to extract the lessons from this book and leave all the other stuff to the side, it's a good book to pick up. I would say that. So, there you go. All right, y'all. Um, next one coming up.